How do you build a mega real estate team without it crumbling at scale? You do it with core values. We're going to go over why core values are so essential in your real estate business. Now, this is episode 37. Let's go. You're listening to Mega Real Estate Talk with Jared Davis and Galen Parker, your source for an honest, insightful look into Central Virginia's real estate market. Combined, Jared and Galen have over 20 years sales experience, as well as hundreds of testimonials from clients past and present who rely on them for advice and assistance when buying and selling homes in today's incredibly hot and competitive real estate market. And now, your hosts, Jared Davis and Galen Parker. I am Jared Davis. And I am still Galen Parker. How you doing? I'm feeling fine. Oh, man. I'm just putting out fires this morning. Uh Uh-oh. I I saw the smoke plumes from your house. I looked out the window cautious. TBK, tell me what's going on. You know, sometimes you can do too good of a job in this industry. That's my life story. It's so funny that it's just every client is so different. You know, you get clients out there that say, you know, I want to market this thing out to as many people as possible. I want everybody to see it. Can you get me out of state? What about people in other countries? Can we get to them? And then you have other people that are like, I'd rather you sell my listing, but not let anyone know it's for sale. (laughs) Secret, secret. And it's tough because you got to walk this line of like, I want to market your stuff, but you don't want me to market your stuff. Um, I'm going to try to word of mouth sell your your thing. I'm just going to call people and be like, you want a house? And they're like, of course. I'm like, all right, buy it. And they're like, well, what a, where is it? And I can't tell you. But do you want it? And they're like, uh, could I? how big is it? You're like, that, it's going to be gone if you don't tell me. And it's a crazy market. <laughs> Make a decision have to, right now. Just let me know. What do you, Are you sure you don't want it right now? Sorry. Oh, we sold it to somebody else aside unseen, right? So someone just got super upset because we marketed their stuff and someone saw it. And they didn't want them to see it. And, you know, it was just on our, our personal Facebook page. So I'm guessing they just... You know, maybe Google searched the address and happened to find it, but it's just it's just funny how you can somehow upset people for I guess getting it out to too many people. Yeah. So you know, we've been trying to fix that this morning and make sure we uh, market less. But, yeah, this is one of the few times where someone's like, "Hey, we want you to do less." We told, we said we will assure you we'll get it to less people moving forward than we have currently been getting it out to. And if anyone's ever met Jared and and, and myself, they know we are generally guilty of doing the most. That's right. So, like people are always like, "You guys are doing the most. You're doing a lot." So this is a one time we're just like, "Too much. Too much." Just. Keep it on the down we'll show low. It to so less, like, all right. Less people will see this. No, well, you know, the, out of one out of a million clients, you know, we, we'll, <sighs> we'll, and the, I like the fact that you just said, hey, listen, I'll do whatever you need to do. And you took care of it. So Deleted. That's the way we. It's gone. We buried it. Roll. Here's the thing public records at the end they're gonna find out 100%. my uh, this here's my my thought when i i saw that it's just like for whatever reason we, we don't know the reason but eventually someone's going to find out Let, yeah. let's say the property sells it's like what discussion are you gonna have with whatever person who's the concerned person be like oh yeah i did this is like is it better that they find out now or after i'm like it's just if you're hiding from someone's like i don't know yeah it's tough it is what it is you know all you we, do is try uh, to make people happy move forward Get stuff moving. I uh, I want to take this moment in time. I think the last episode we, we talked a little bit about something that went wrong with our contractor. Mm. Uh, this episode, huge shout out to something that goes right with our other contractor. Yeah, don't uh, give his name out. Uh, yeah, now. don't you? I'll, you will never. Don't. I don't care if you put it in the comments. <laughs> uh, our other contractor who will protect with our lives, phenomenal human being. The if best. you are in this business, make sure that you are partnering up with contractors that you can rely on and people that you can trust. Like another contractor failed. This contractor's like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. All the stuff he didn't finish, I'll finish. He's like, I'll, I'll make learn it how to do it. I'll. I'll yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> man. It's like, how many times has he bailed us? out on something all the time uh, I, I thought it was very sweet the other day you were sitting there wistfully and you're just like i want to buy him a house <laughs> <laughs> i was like what you're like i want to i want to buy him a house Man, you probably it. never said that thing about me <laughs> he has never said that about you. he's like i want to, I want to buy no, him a house in fact after i said i want to buy him a house i said you know there's literally no one else in my life that <laughs> yes. deserves me to buy them a house other than this guy i literally yeah. prefaced with this is the only human the in my only life person. that I was deserves like, that is me so to buy him a house let me just tell you the amount of people if you did that and we filmed it and all that like it would blow up no like i mean i 
I would finance it to him. Like he would pay me for yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Time. But still. But still, like I want him to attain home ownership. And Do I like want, a key presentation. I just want him to win, and I don't even care if anybody knew about it. Like I know he's like, yes, it would blow up, but like so many people were like, I did a nice thing, world. Look mm-hmm. at the nice thing that look I did. The, look at the niceness. And I'm always like, I don't care if you think I'm nice or not. I'll do nice things in secret. <laughs> but I, I did. Yeah, I literally told Galen, I was like, I'm gonna get this guy a house at we're some point because he's just so good. I told him yesterday. I said, you're the only person that I deal with on a daily basis that's just not trying to screw me I, th- I thought that your statement, your statement was like so nice because it was like juxtaposed to like me wistfully sitting there. I'm like, I want to buy myself a Ferrari. <laughs> and you're like, I want to buy this nice man house. I'm like, yeah, that's good too. That's also very... I already have a garage full of supercars, so I don't, I don't, I don't need to buy more like, supercars. That's cool too. But, uh... but TBK, the, the winner of our hearts, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, man. What are we talking about today? You want to deep dive quick? Let's get straight into it today. Because this one could take a little bit. Maybe. It's hilarious. It's, it's knowing what the music is. It gets you guys. You can see that we definitely like this type better than like your grunge rock from last episode. What time is it? It doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm awake either way. It's pumping me up. And we faded in proper time. I love it. Today we are going Masterful. over why your business should be built on core values. This is a big one for us. We have scaled very quickly. Uh, we've got 24 people on team that are yep. agents. We have a couple staff that handle transactions. We have a couple virtual assistants in the Philippines. Uh, we are dealing with growing the actual EXP model. So we've got uh, we're heading to essentially trying to get to 100 people in that organization right this second and more as that grows out and. And as we have scaled, we have realized just how crucial core values in your business are. I've also realized that most people don't do anything with this, whether they're big, whether they're by themselves, whether they're a solo agent, whether they're a team. The brokerage has no core values. They have no idea. And that's why, obviously, it's a revolving door at a lot of companies. I think it's like just so important to have these in place. And I think we, we've we gone through our own growing pains mm-hmm. uh, with the team. Yes. And, and you and I, we jumped on a call with a coach um, last Friday. And he basically kind of just reminded us of what we should be. You know, he helped us in the beginning about establishing the core values. And then he and he kind of highlighted and this is a lot what we're going to talk about today, but it's just like establishing your core values, living by your core values, hiring by your core values, coaching by them. And then if the time arises, it's necessary firing by your core values. And so mm-hmm. this is very mm-hmm. I, I was joking. I was like, we got to keep this under 30, because anytime Jared and I have something that we're both super passionate about, that's like a three hour. And so we're just like. <laughs> All right, we got to keep ourselves controlled, but this is super important for you guys as business owners, and it's also a nice relief for like a, an employee to yeah. know that you guys have core values, and then they know what's expected of them, and they know how they can like impact change for their own business and on the team. So, so let's for, go to it. So first things first, for all you people listening, they're saying, I don't even, what's a core value? I don't even know what that is. Should we wait a second? All right. Just remember, what is a core value? Mm-hmm. Eddie, you're, you're also looking for what is a core value for 500? It's what is a core the value. The answer of the day is, what is a core value? We're waiting, because he's not done. I think he's waiting, too. And he's like, <laughs> the guy's like, I can't wait till they talk. He's like, like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is he trying to blow the leaves into the house? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> like he's, Yet again, not a great teaser. <laughs> not, not. The second he's I'm like, all right, I think we're good. I need content teasers. I like the funny ones, too. We need all we need of them. Yeah. We need all of the things. So you asked so, the question, what is a core value? I'll give the long what I think is, and you'll probably break it down for them. Does that make sense? Sure. So you're like, what I think a core value is, it's an unchangeable intrinsic principle that every business needs to have that they're able to identify not just who or not where they're going, but who they are and then why they're going there. So it's they're, they're establishing their own identity. Yeah. So it, you said you'd set a principle. So it's pretty much a foundation block, right? Yep. It's a building block. So if you're going to build a business and you pictured it like a house, you got to start with the foundation. If you build a crappy foundation, then the house is going to crumble and fall down, right? <laughs> so this is really incorporating 
an overall vision of what your business is going to be. So when you're building on core values, typically you're also building on your core focuses, you're, you're focusing on your goals, your marketing strategy, all of these things so that you have a clear cut picture of where you're headed, but so that your employees also have a clear cut vision for where they're headed. But for this specific thing, we wanna get into the actual core values that the business is built on. So not as much the goals because your goals are gonna be different than our goals, right? Not as much your five-year visions and 10-year visions and one-year visions, because again, all of that you need to put into place your own. But what are you, what do you want your people to be living on? Not only in their actual lives, but in their business lives, right? So we'll go into our core values first, right? So that at least you can figure out kind of some stuff. And you can copy ours, you can make them your own, you can obviously come up with your own. But just to give you an idea, some of our core values that we build our business on and that we hire people on are, are this. Our number one, be the agent that other agents want to help. This one is so crucial because if you're an agent on a team or a team lead, or the owner, or whatever it may be, and you are constantly complaining, <laughs> right? Or you're complaining about other agents, right? Do you think the other agents are going to want to help you when you need help, right? But on the flip side, if you're positive, and when somebody else asks for help, you raise your hand and you're like, yes, let me help you out. I'm here for you. What do you think's going to happen when you need help, right? Absolutely. The other I agents are gonna step in and say, yeah, man, Galen, he's always happy, he's always positive, he's always here to help me. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make that guy's life easier and help him because he helps me, right? So that is our number one core value with our team, is be the agent that other agents want to help. And I'll interject here just like an example. So um, this, one of my biggest faults and like a lot of my friends, we talk about it, double booking. I double book a lot on my calendar because I'm just like, I need to get better with my calendar. And so today I'm here in the studio, but I also need to show how simultaneously and I'm like, oh man, what am I going to do? So I send it out to the team. Hey, can someone show a house for me tomorrow? 10 a.m. outlying area immediate response from someone on our team says got it yep got you covered no problem and if that's a person that i've helped in the past and so she's part of our core value she understands that and she's like he's helped me numerous times i'm going to help him and so to me when i look at that i'm like this person's living by core values and just to backtrack just a little bit uh, sometimes we we gotta help, help them establishing their core values and so when you guys are establishing yours as jared and i go through hours you're gonna have to ask yourself like why am i in business you know, why did I get up in the morning? Why do I do this thing? Why do I even want to uh, start a team or build this business or anything like that? You have to vision the, the ideal Jared Davis, the ideal Galen Parker, the ideal you. Mm. Maybe you're not there yet. Maybe you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Look in your face. So maybe you're not there He's yet. Speaking to my core right now. <laughs> so maybe you're, maybe you're not there yet, and you're like, "Hey, this is what I want to be." Well, then that's a core value that you have to work to. And so identify those things. What's the best version of you that'll help you? So when Jared and I came up with these, especially this one, Jared just mentioned, be the agent. We said, "What do we want?" You know, I want to be the agent other people help. I want people to look at me and Jared and say, man, these guys, they will lay out for us anytime they'll help us. And so that was an easy one. Like, yeah, that's what yeah. we, we want to surround ourselves with people who have that same mentality. And that's huge because when they see somebody like me, the team lead, who not only sells the most out of anybody, but also runs the vision of the group, helps them with the training, flips houses, owns the other companies that we own, buys rentals, buys apartment buildings, sells these things, and yet a Sunday can happen and someone can say, hey man, we got this show and it's like an hour away and I just can't get there. Can anybody do it? And nobody can do it. And I'm like, I'll go do it. TBK comes to the rescue. Right? Like people are like, you're like, how many team leaders can you think of that are like, I'm going to take my Sunday. I'm going to stop eating brunch and drinking mimosas. I'm going to go show this for him because at the end of the day, I also need your help in return. Right? And I'm going to do what I have to do to show you guys and set that example because that's our core value. We live it. We don't tell you to live it. We all live it. Right? Next one, positive energy and customer service above all else. Man, when you are negative, you just drag everyone down with you. 
and nothing good has happened in your life. When you're negative about the market because you can't sell, because there's no inventory, because you keep getting outbid and everything else, I guarantee you it's not going to make your sales go up. So you just have to keep the positive energy. And that's hard right now for everybody. But it's one of those things that we keep yeah. talking about. Just, hey, we know it's tough, but you've got to be positive and you've got to keep giving these people customer service above all else because even though you're frustrated and you're having to show them houses every weekend and you're losing offers, these people are frustrated too. You still have to be your best positive self with them and give them the best customer service because at some point they are going to get a house and it's going to be with you because they didn't fire are you because you stood behind this core value i think uh one of the things that i i, I always hear in my mind is that you will feast and find what you focus on mm -hmm. and so that's why and to me in a lot of ways some of our newer agents who are listening they're having success they they've been in the business for three months and they've got three deals because they're not focusing on the market being bad they don't know any different this is just the market. They haven't had it easier. And so if you're a person who has had it easier, all you can see is like, oh, it's hard. It's bad. There's nothing good. It's like, well, you're going to find that. But at the same time, if you're someone's just like, hey, I know it's a little bit challenging, but here's my idea. Here's my scope. Here's the vision. Here's what the, the actionable plan that I'm going to execute. Well, then you're going to find success just by default because you're you're finding what you're focusing on. And so being positive, you know, no one wants to be around the person like, hey, guys, how's everyone doing? They're just like, oh, everything's terrible. Terrible. Uh, the market's terrible. I've the leads are better. terrible. I'm terrible. I just, <laughs> you know, it's like I work at Taco Bell and I got burned in the fryer. It's just like, all right, well, Ugh. do they still got Crunchwrap Supremes? I mean, there's got to be something good in your life. You but... get a free lunch each day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get a free quesadilla. I mean, what do you want? So you've got to maintain. That's why it's so important because if, if Jared's ever down, and I'm up, I want to bring him up and vice versa. Yep. And it's so funny because it's so rare that I'm down. And like a few weeks ago, it was like one of those things like a client backed into one of the Porsches. And I was like, great, I got to go fix this. And we had, you know, a bunch of stuff going on with like one of our flips. And it just was like a week where I was like, man, you got to be kidding me. And I remember coming into work for like a week. And by like the end of the like second week, I was just like, I gotta get back. I gotta get out of this. Gotta change like, your state. This is not good. And I did. I changed my state, and it's been great ever since. Even like the girls at the front desk at Gather were just like, "Man, you okay?" And I was like, <laughs> "Something's up." And I was like, "I'm gonna fix this." A little tear just comes. Yeah, like, yeah. Fine. And and now I'm good. I'm back to it. So I was like, I wasn't living. TBK is back, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't living to my core value. The right. next one: be humble, but be hungry. Mm -hmm. I like this one because I find that so many people on our team are not hungry enough. But they're very humble to the point of almost doubting themselves. And then there's other people on the team that are very confident in their abilities, a.k.a. me. But I have to watch the humility side, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you got to be like, all right, I know I am I can crush this thing, but I can still be kind and nice and humble while doing it. So you, you don't want to be that guy that's bragging about your achievements and making other people feel bad. Yeah. But you also have to be hungry enough to be able to acknowledge that we need you to have goals and achievements, and we want you to be proud of yourself when you hit these achievements. Just keep your kindness while you do it. And it's a funny thing because no one wants to be around a person who's not hungry in their business because it's like what are they driving for at the same time like no one wants to be around a person who's not humble because it's like it's off-putting and they're just like oh yeah great this guy you know so it's like you have to walk and I, and I love it when I see people who are just like killing it but they don't like it's I don't know like they, they don't rub it in your face it's just like hey I'm just happy to be here and you're just like you you just did like 80 deals in, th in four <laughs> months and they're just like yeah you know I'm just trying to work hard but like there's not like oh, I just did 80 deals in here you know it's just kind of like oh okay so there's just a way to do it and it's just about showing class in your business yep our last one, it's kind of a mix of a few. One is essentially to love the follow-up or follow up ferociously is mm -hmm. another team that we're close with. They, that's how they use it. Or touch everything all the time, <laughs> right? So fanatics, fanatical follow up, right? We these leads come in. You have to be on top of them. You have to have speed to lead. You have to touch them six times before they realize you exist. And if you're not going to do that, you're not going to succeed, and you're not living up to our core values, right? And because of that, we also added in there to be a guaranteed friend. So. So people, again, they don't want to be sold anything, but they love to go shopping with friends. So I tell my people, you know, be fanatical, love the follow up, touch everything all the time, but guarantee your friendship with them. Touch them in a way that makes them say, hey, 
I like this person. They're out to help me. I'm going to I'm going to answer the phone when this guy calls me or texts me and I want to use them as a realtor, right? So if you can build all of these core values in, why it's so crucial now is because if you have an agent that you've hired and they've sat down with you and you've gone over all of these core values mm-hmm. and they say, "Yes, that is the agent that I indeed want to be." And you say, "Fantastic." Be the agent you want to hire. Fantastic. That's the agent we want. Great. But now, a month into this whole shindig of you hiring them and putting them on your team, you're like, "I think this guy's going to be great or gal." Mm-hmm. And you look at their leads and they haven't called any of them for no the calls. last 3 days. Well, are you loving the follow-up? Are you being a guaranteed friend? Are you giving them customer service? Are you touching them all the time? You're not doing any of those things. Are you being right? the agent you want to help? Well, and that could even factor in more of, you know, same thing. You know, somebody that's asking for something of the team all the time, right? Maybe they're like, oh, God, I'm working this other job. Can someone show all the houses that I have set up or this month? And then in flip side, you're like, hey, can you just come to, like, the mandatory team meeting? Or can you just... You know, could you show a house for me? And they're like, no, 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 I'm too busy for any of that, right? So, again, that lets you now sit down and say, hey, um, I see this pattern with you right now. Do you think it follows the core values? Because if it doesn't, we want to change that, right? And it's clear cut, right? And then on top of these core values, you should also have a core focus, right? So these these core values fit into what your focus is for your company and it can be broad it can be very specific but you you want to know what is our focus and are we all heading towards that same focus so for us our purpose our cause our passion is to change and improve lives while building long-term friendships in the process right we're going to help improve our agents lives we're going to improve our clients lives we're going to improve our investors lives right and hopefully when it's all said and done we're all friends while doing it our past clients our current customers, to be customers, our agents, we're gonna build friendships. Our niche is we help people to buy, sell, and build investments for the future, and we help people unleash their unrealized potential, right? That's our core vision. So if you can sit down with us and say, do you want to have your your untapped potential unleashed? Do you want to help people build their lives into the future? Do you want to build long-term friendships during the process while changing your life and improving other people's lives? Fantastic. How can you do that? By being an agent that other agents want to help. By having a positive energy and customer service above all else. By being humble but hungry and by loving the follow-up, being a guaranteed friend and touch everything all the time. All the leads you can. And the reason why we have it in this order is like establishing by core values hiring by core values and what jared is in is like the coaching by core values because it should a person should be able to tell themselves where they're at right yeah if they're like oh if the team have have these five tantamounts of what is on the team and i'm not i know i'm not following up i know i'm not you know being the agent people want to want to you know be a worker work around or you know be involved with so when we get to you know, do you want to talk about like the 10% conversations or do we want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to JT talking to us about the 10% conversations yeah, the other day. So what's a 10% conversation? So, so essentially is you're going to come to an agent. Let's say Jared's my agent. I'm going to say, Jared, man, you, you show up early, you hard work, you, you call, you do all these great, you do 90%. You're doing these great. But for the moment, let's talk about that 10%. There's a 10% that you're just not doing. You're not following up. And if you remember, remember we talked about establishing our core values. Remember those? I do. I remember. You're not fitting these in. So how can we do this? Because if you just do that 10% more, you're going to be right in line with all the other agents. So sometimes you're going to have an agent where you need to have that. And and it's kind of like uh, you and I both know the, the compliment council compliment uh like oh, yeah. model right the sandwich it's, it's very similar to that because you're talking about that 90 percent. hey here's all the things you're doing great here's the 10 percent that i think you need to work on that will help them now obviously there's going to be people on your team where it's not 10 percent. like you're like 40 50 60. yeah it's like here's the 50 percent that you're not but now, doing but well. now what happens see see this is the thing yeah. if you have no core values and there's stuff that you don't like about a team member and you sit them down how can you even tell them what's a fix right because you haven't established these core values in place so you can just be like i i decided i didn't like that you weren't doing this and there's like well i, I didn't know that i did not supposed yeah. to do that right and then it's like if they don't fix it, what do you do? You know, 
This way you can sit down and you can say, this is the core value of our team. It's our vision, right? The wind is blowing us to this destination and you keep moving the sail this way and trying to get us to go to this destination, right? That is not where we're going. We're going here. Right. And if you can't get this direction, then we may have to just let you go off the team. We'll let you go in that direction. <laughs> and then you can go that direction, right? You can get on your own boat and get your own sail and head that way. But this is so crucial because what happens is you start to scale. And no one's immune to it. I'm not. We're not immune to it. We, yeah. We've gone through this. We have five agents two years ago. Now we have 24. We've got more staff than ever. And what happens is as the as the team grows at some point we'll probably have 40 or 50 agents what happens is they may say well this guy I don't hit it off with because of this or this person complains a lot or this person does that and so you either have to figure out well is the person that's complaining not fitting into the core value and they're not being the agent that everybody wants to help and they're not having the camaraderie and they're not doing what they need to be doing and they're not building the friendship because they're not around or is it actually the person they're complaining about and saying, well, yeah, actually, you're right. We did bring this other person on now that we have this bigger group. Mm -hmm. And this person, you know, they really are adding a lot of negative energy. Yeah, there is a lot of gossip going on. Yeah, there is a lot of drama over Nonsense, here. Nonsense, right? right? So this lets you sit down and see exactly who on your team and in your business is doing what they need to be doing and if they're going in the right direction. And it lets you see the people that aren't and say, this is how we fix it. And that's why this is so You hold up that model crucial. to both of them boys and like, all right, who is closest to being inside of these boundaries? And then when you see who's not, you're like, okay, it's clear. It's clear what they're 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 not doing correctly. And so I, that's why I love when we kind of just talk about core values because it and I, I always think if you are in um in the business of doing this as a team annually, if not quarterly, you need to have a meeting with all your staff and just remind them, like, hey, guys, don't forget, hey, do you know what the core values are? Here's the vision so yeah. that people are like, oh, okay, that's right. I need to make sure, like, are you still are you still in harmony with, with the vision? Are you, as Jared said, are, are you still going in the same direction of our boat? And if you're not, it's like, do you want to? Yeah. Do you, because, you know, you can get thrown over the side. You can anchor. We don't, we don't need that. We don't want anyone slowing us down from where we're going. So it might not be a good fit. And you need a vision for every aspect of your business pretty much, right? I mean, for us, right, with EXP, we're, our vision with EXP is to grow a team of agents all across not only the country, but even in other countries, right? Yeah. And so for you, if you're listening to this as a team agent or a solo agent or anybody right now that's in another area of the country, and you're saying, man, I'd, I'd like to reach out and talk about partnering with these guys. If you're with some other brokerage and you're like, what, what do Jared and Galen offer when we partner up? Like, please reach out. Because we got a vision for that. It's like, how do we train teams all across the country, all across the, the, the world to build their business and a hundred plus million dollar sales teams, right? And sales businesses while growing other aspects like mortgage and title and all of these other things that we're helping other people with. But that's our clear cut vision. And it's the same thing because if you reach out and you're from Omaha and we talk to you and we have a different vision, right? And you don't fit into our core values, then it may not be a good partnership, yeah. right? And so you have to figure that out because it lets you start weeding through things and it's going to help with all of your growing pains as you start growing and again you're going to have growing pains and it's this just, is i like it because this is not something that we're talking about in the obscurity it's like we've gone through this we we've felt the growing pains and that's why we're saying like hey, don't do you don't have to do what we did because we went wrong you know we fixed it we retooled so like we're giving you the end result so that you don't have to experience that you'll have your own pains trust me yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. And it just depends on how big you want to get too. But just know that anything past probably 10, 15 people, I mean, you really start getting into, you know, who's a good click or are they following and doing what they're supposed to be doing? Are they working the business like they should? It just is what it is. And then you've got to decide things like, do you only want part-time or do you only want full-time agents? Will you take part-time agents? How are you going to split up your actual sales team? You know, what's required, what's not required. So all of that stuff may be part of your core values, right? Your core value may say you know our agents attend you know whatever it is every single week and if they miss it then they're not really you know a part of that core value they're not a part of our vision so that's for you guys um the other thing is as you build the core values as you build that vision as you know what your mission statement is that next thing you can start to look at now is all right now that all this is in place what goals do we want to hit with this right as long as we're working by these goals or these core values what are we now trying to accomplish in the next year what are we trying to accomplish in the next three years, five years, seven years, 10 years? And then how do you do that? So we can actually, this would 
this would go on way longer if we did all of, all of these things so today's we're just talking about getting your core values in in place but if you're interested to know kind of what the next step hey we have put core values in place hey we're wondering how do we break down our goals how do we break this down feel free to reach out to us um comment below if there's anything that you've missed if you're watching on youtube or if you're listening but i think that's about it galen is there anything else you want to bring no out? those are big uh, that's my big ones about just living by it and then eventually firing by it that's it and and some people say slow to hire, quick to fire. Uh, we tend, to, in this industry at least, we, we run typically a quick to hire, also kind of quick to fire model. Uh, because we do. We need the agents. Uh, again, if we think they're going to fit the core values, we're very quick to hire to try to get them on the team and get them moving along and help them out. But at the end of the day, you can also be pretty quick to fire if you realize that, hey, this person is messing up um, the team dynamic. Right? Yeah. So that's it. We appreciate you watching. Again, if there's anything that we can do to help you with this, uh, feel free to comment up. You can reach us directly. You can email me at jared at centralvarealty.com. Uh, or you can find us on social media, underscore, underscore, the Davis Group. Galen, they can find you where? You can find me on Instagram at your realtor's favorite realtor, RVA. Or you can email me at galen at centralvarealty.com. And if you use your realtor's favorite realtor pretty much anywhere on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, you'll find me. That's right. And again, if you are a real estate agent, independent, solo, team, whatever it is, and you want to link up, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you grow your business. Uh, we thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. If you have a real estate question that you would like to ask Jared or Galen, reach out to them at jared at centralvarealty.com or galen at centralvarealty.com. Who knows? It may even be featured on an upcoming episode. 